from the Marvel Universe to the DC Universe, there has been many Ninja Turtles crossovers throughout the years. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 8 Ninja Turtles crossovers that you probably never heard of. What up Turtle fans, Duran here, and if you love Ninja Turtles and you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Coming in at number 8, Daredevil. According to the Turtles backstory, the chemical that made Daredevil also made the Ninja Turtles. Of course, Daredevil never stated that Turtles in the comics, but the reference is pretty clear. Number 7 Ghostbusters Yup, the Turtles and Ghostbusters actually happened. In 2004, despite the two franchise very different origin, the Turtles end up in the Ghostbusters dimension in the late 80s. Both cartoons and toy lines aired and shared the shelf space at the same time. And with the IDW possessing both rights of the Turtles and Ghostbusters comics, a crossover between the two properties pretty much had to happen. It had its moments and did its job just fine. Coming in at number 6, Power Rangers. Oh boy, in 1997, the Ninja Turtles returned to TV with the worst adaptation ever of the turtles ninja turtles the next mutation the live action show that introduced the female member of venus and lasted for only six months before cancellation an episode of the power rangers in space called shell shock brought us two parties together while it should have been the epic crossover it ended up being the epic failure the ninja turtles was brainwashing to betray the power rangers nothing made sense in the crossover and it ended up with the five turtles surfing throughout space and me wanting to jump off a cliff speaking of the worst ninja turtle adaptation make sure to check out my worst to best teenage mutant ninja turtles on the top right corner fifth on the list batman yup in 2015 turtle team up with batman in the six issue miniseries and it was awesome. Somehow, the Ninja Turtles end up stranded in Gotham with the knowledge that the science that allows them to exist doesn't hold up in the DC Universe. Their mutagen will gradually reverse, eventually turning them back into normal turtles. After a run-in with Batman, the four turtles talk about what the hell just happened. Donatello does some internet research, Michelangelo figures out the pros and cons of the Dark Avenger, Raphael consider him to be some psychopath and Leonardo reflects on the fight and figures him out on his own way. We ultimately get a team up of Foot Clans and League of Assassin with which makes all the sense in the world and we get crazy mutated inmates of Arkham Asylum like Snake Joker, Hyena Harley, Babu Two-Face, Vulture Scarecrow, Elephant Bane, Penguin Penguin and so on so on. But all the mutated Batman villains in Gotham are no match for Splinter wielding Harley oversized cartoon Mallet. Crazy, huh? Number 4 In 1991, Ninja Turtles cross over to Archie's comic in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Meet Archie. Around that time, the Archies and Turtles are brought together by a various reality by Cully the Cowlick, a giant cosmic talking cow head. Yeah, wacky, huh? He drops the turtle off in Riverdale for 12 hours. Archie and Betty see them and freak out thinking it's an alien invasion, yet nobody believes them. The four disguise themselves, ate pizza with Jughead, and even checked out Josie and the Pussycat concert, but reveal their true identity when Veronica gets kidnapped. Third on the list, Sonic. Also under the Archie banner, the Turtles made a quick guest appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog Volume 10. Back when the series was young and silly, Sonic was busy running around through the underground that they were basically lost and not only in the wrong sewer but in the wrong comic as well. Nearly 20 years later, Sonic Evil Double Scourge ended up in prison with Bebop and Rocksteady in Sonic Universe issue number 29. Though more to the Easter eggs things of the official crossover. Number 2 Garfield, the winter 1992 edition of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles magazine, had a one-page comic book written by Garfield's creator, Jim Davis. The gag here is that Garfield tries to disguise himself as the fifth Ninja Turtle in order to get them to leave him alone with all their pizza. Instead, the Turtles decide to beat him up instead. Pretty messed up, if you ask me. Speaking of Garfield. 
the last on our list, Cartoon All-Stars to the Rescue. In this 80s animated series led Michelangelo showing up in an also memorable anti-drug cartoon about teenagers getting into smoking pot. After he's seen stealing money from his little sister, a bunch of cartoons characters come to life to spend half an hour lecturing him that drugs are bad and smoking weed will make you look like a zombie and kill you. Alongside Michelangelo, we have Alvin and the Chipmunks, Scarfield, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, The Muppets Baby, Winnie the Pooh, Slimer, The Smurf, Alf, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Insane, huh? Kids, stay in school, don't do drugs. So which crossover was the craziest to you? Let me know on the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more Ninja Turtles. Thank you.